How's it going gamer? You got hands here and today in Dauntless we're going over a pretty dope meta axe build for Boreas' axe. Yeah that's right Boreas' axe. I have two builds in this video. One that features Iceborne and another one that's just pure attack speed and damage. And it's definitely meta for Boreas' axe. So turn on your system, grab your axe, and get ready! How's it going gamer? I'm pretty excited to show you this Boreas axe build that we got going on here. And in this video I have two builds that I'm going to show you. One that has Iceborne and one that doesn't. But they're both really good. And they're considered like the meta for Boreas's axe if you're going to use it. So first get his axe. Yes it has a plus three conditioning in it but we're going to work with that. Go ahead and put a plus three discipline cell in there. And in the second one, put a plus three sturdy cell. Yeah, I said that. What? I don't even have that. You better go make it. It's pretty much the best cell to put in there besides Iceborne, you know, for this build because it prevents being staggered on a cooldown. It's pretty dope. So next, use Grim Onslaught and Volatile Axe Core for your mods and skill. And next, you're going to want to get Resicuri's Helmet Light's Crown that has a plus three conduit in it. But we're going to put a plus three Predator cell down here. And then for the chest piece, that's Dark Morrow, that's Shroud's Chest. That has a plus three rage, and we're going to put a plus three overpower. And for the hands, that's Malcarion's Grasps. That has a plus three Predator, and we're going to put a plus three Wild Frenzy in there. And for the feet, Volcanic Treads, that's Tarog's Feet, and we're, that has a plus three rage, and we're going to put a plus three overpower in there. And then for the Lantern, we're using Emermain's Rapture because it increases your attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds. And of course the hold does give you a nice good little uh, damage ball, but we're also using Conduit, which will increase our attack speed even further. So with that said, throw a plus 3 Conduit cell in there. And then for your tonics, you make sure you're always using these guys because they're really important. And now more than ever, we can buy our tonics besides using ma materials, we can use rams, the currency. So always use the damage buff one, frenzy tonic, and blitz tonic for your attack speed, and a uh, assault tonic for stagger damage, or you can use the lantern one, which increases your lantern charge rate. So all in all, we have a plus six conduit that increases our attack speed by 15%. But, remember, add to Embermane's Rapture, which increases that to 25 if we do those together. We have plus 6 Overpower, which gives us 60% damage, Staggered Behemoths. And then plus 6 Predator, which gives us 35% damage if you don't get hit. And then Rage, because we're at half health, that gives us 25% damage. And then here's our Conditioning, which will help maintain our stamina, so we can just keep hacking away with that axe. And Discipline... That helps us get to 50% health so we can use Wild Frenzy and Rage. And then here's Sturdy that we talked about that prevents you from being staggered. And then Wild Frenzy finally which is really great because that's even more attack speed guys at 12.5%. So think about that. That's some crazy attack speed for the axe. I really hope you're able to make this build. Alright and for the next build that we have that has Iceborne it's the same weapon. It's it, Boreas's axe. But this build is alternate, which utilizes Iceborne and a few other skills. So let's check this out. First, of course, get uh, Boris's Axe that has a plus three conditioning. We're going to put a plus three Discipline cell in there. And then a plus three Iceborne. And, of course, the same skill in mod. And then we're using the same helmet, plus three Conduit. And then plus three Predator cell. And then for the chest piece, that Shroud's chest piece that has a plus three Rage. And we're putting a plus three Rage Hunter cell in there. And then for the hands, that's Boreas' hands, Boreal Might, that has a plus three Rage. And we're going to put a plus three Rage Hunter cell. And then for the feet, that's Boreal's March, that's Boreas' feet, that has an Iceborne in it. And we're going to put a plus three Predator cell. And it's the same setup, Gamer, for the Lantern that we just talked about for the previous build. If you didn't see it, it's Embermane's Rapture and plus three Conduit cell. And then the same tonics. Don't forget your tonics. So all in all, we have again plus 6 Conduit, which increases our attack speed, as well as Embermane's Rapture. Plus 6 Iceborne. Yeah, baby. That gives you life still when you're at half health. And it reduces the damage you take. And then plus 6 Predator. That's 35% damage. Plus 6 Rage. That's 25% damage. Plus 6 Rage Hunter. That's another 40% damage. 
There's our plus three conditioning, which maintains our stamina, so we can keep running around and swinging the axe. And then there's discipline that knocks us to 50%, so we can use rage and all those other iceborne cells. So guys, these are really great builds, and this is really awesome meta for Boreas's axe. I really hope you're able to make these, and I really hope you enjoy this stuff, because it is dope. Peace. All right, that's all I got for you today. I hope you're definitely able to make these two builds because they are really dope. Hey, if you like this video, hit that sub button and throw a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Hans signing out.